Attention! All the news in this video I have collected from the internet, we deliver you the most realistic news also make sure to read the subtitle. Chelsea are willing to allow Arsenal to sign Tammy Abraham on an initial loan deal, according to reports. The Champions League holders are actively looking to sell Abraham this summer but have been holding out for a £40 million transfer fee. West Ham and Aston Villa both registered their interest early in the window, with Abraham understood to be open to a move to either club. But reports last week claimed that Arsenal have also entered the race to sign Abraham, who is who is a boyhood Gunners fan and idolised Thierry Henry growing up. Chelsea's £40 million valuation could prove tricky for Arsenal, who need to trim their squad even further to accommodate more big money signings. And according to The Sun, Chelsea's hierarchy have now agreed to let Abraham leave Stamford Bridge on loan this summer but will include a £40 million obligation to buy clause if the striker reaches a certain number of appearances. Do you think Arsenal should sign striker Tammy Abraham or not? Arsenal currently have many strikers options such as Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Alexandre Lacazette and young players like Follerin Balogun and Eddie Nketiah. Manchester United move ahead of Arsenal in race to sign Wolves star Ruben Neves in £35 million deal. Arsenal have targeted the Portugal international this summer with Mikel Arteta rebuilding his options in midfield. The Gunners approached Wolves with their interest last month and have reportedly been told the 24-year-old is available for a fee of around £35 million. However, United have now entered the picture and are at the head of the queue, for his signature, according to TalkSport. The Gunners have completed the signing of Belgian starlet Albert Sambi Lokonga. The club are also eager to bring in a more experienced option with Granite Jacker still hoping to compete a move away from London to join Roma. United meanwhile have a deal in place to sign Jadon Sancho from Borussia Dortmund and are thought to be now prioritising a move for Real Madrid defender Rafael Varane. But a deep-lying midfielder is also thought to be on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's wish list. If Arsenal do not hurry in this deal, it is possible that Ruben Neves will join Manchester United to be able to play in the Champions League next season. Arsenal set to launch £30 million bid for Sheffield United goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale. Arsenal are set to submit a £30 million bid to sign Sheffield United goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale, according to reports. The Gunners are in the market to replace Bernd Leno, who has just finished his third season in the Premier League. Leno was signed in a £22.5 million deal from Bayer Leverkusen in 2018, and it's understood that Arsenal are open to allowing the 29-year-old to leave if they receive a similar fee this summer. Ramsdale is on Arsenal's list of targets along with West Brom goalkeeper Sam Johnston. But according to TalkSport, Ramsdale is at the top of Arsenal's shortlist and the Gunners are now preparing a £30 million offer for the Sheffield United goalkeeper. What do you think about goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale, does he deserve to replace goalkeeper Bernd Leno next season? In my opinion, Arsenal should keep Bernd Leno at the club and focus on the money to buy James Madison or Hussem Uar. Arsenal cancels Florida Cup trip due to COVID-19 outbreak. Arsenal will not play at the Florida Cup as the Gunners have confirmed they have a small number of positive COVID tests among their squad and coaching staff. The Gunners were due to depart to Florida for a preseason tour and games against Inter Milan and one of Everton or Millenarios in Orlando. But they will now stay at home ahead of their Premier League season kicking off against Brentford on August 13. Mikel Arteta will no doubt be very frustrated by preseason plans being changed at the last minute. But flying overseas for a preseason trip was always going to be risky given the current situation and with COVID-19 cases on the rise in the UK. Arsenal have signed a natural leader in Sambi Lokonga, according to Anderlecht's sporting director Peter Verbeke. Earlier this week, the Gunners finally completed their £17 million deal to sign the 21-year-old midfielder. Verbeke has backed Lokonga to acclimatise to the Premier League in a similar fashion to Romelu Lukaku and Yuri Tielmans, who both came through Anderlecht's academy. Sambi of course is a very good player, Verbeke told Sky Sports News. He is one of the top talents coming from our academy.
He can play as a defensive midfield player, he can also play as a box-to-box player. Especially in the last two seasons at the club, he has developed really well. Sambi is someone who is good on the ball. His technical ability in tight spaces is really good, good short and long passing. Lokonga is regarded as one of the most promising young midfielders in Europe and captained Anderlecht last season. William has reportedly made up his mind on leaving Arsenal this summer, as per Italian journalist Fabrizio Romano. The Gunners signed the 32-year-old last summer as a free agent. The winger got off to a brilliant start by assisting two times in the Premier League's opening game of the season against Fulham. However, he has not been able to replicate that performance ever since, scoring only once in 25 league appearances for the Emirates club. Speaking to the Here We Go podcast Fabrizio Romano stated that William is looking to part ways with Arsenal this summer and the Emirates club are also keen on selling their underperforming winger. He said, we have many questions from Arsenal fans but talking about William, the situation is basically the same. The player wants to leave. William wants to leave Arsenal and Arsenal are open to selling him this summer. The Brazilian international was given a whopping £220,000 a week in salary by Mikel Arteta's side. The Sun report also claims that the winger's huge wage demand has become the stumbling block for the North London club in offloading the winger. MLS side Inter Miami showed interest in signing the attacker. If you like the video, like, share and subscribe to my channel.